Big data to improve medicine and healthcare. Big data to understand human development. Big data to uncover the secrets of life. At the University of Maryland, a unique multidisciplinary center is advancing new science and knowledge arising from the genome revolution. For the first time, we can take massive amounts of data and we can pull new principles and a new understanding of how living beings interact. The Center for Bioinformatics and Computational Biology, known as CBCD, brings together researchers from computer science, molecular biology, genomics, genetics, mathematics, statistics, and physics. Together they are combining big data and biology to better treat disease, promote healthier lives, and understand how the world around us has evolved. The mission is to try and make sense of these huge amounts of data that are now generated in biomedical research and apply the most cutting edge quantitative analysis approaches that we have to interpret this data into meaningful insights and results. Whether it's cholera in Haiti, intestinal parasites in Africa, or bacteria that can make children in developing countries gravely ill, researchers in CBCB are using the power of computational biology to identify causes and offer solutions. My lab focuses on combining uh, computational approaches with wet bench experimentation. Essentially what we do is we collect and analyze large amounts of genetic data from the pathogens that infect human beings, on which genes they turn on and they turn off as they infect the human hosts. We collect data on the genes that the human host turns on and turns off in response to the infection. One of the big projects we have in our lab uh, has been the study of uh, diarrhea in children in developing countries. More children die of diarrhea in these countries than uh, HIV, measles, and malaria combined. We are developing new computational techniques that uh, allow us to uh, decide which of these bacteria might possibly cause diarrhea or which of these bacteria might protect the children against diarrhea. CBCB is part of a multi-institutional study focused on regulatory science for tobacco. We're providing expertise in big data management and biostatistics to better understand the physical and psychological effects of new products like e-cigarettes. We're also using high-throughput genomic sequencing to glean new knowledge on how organisms develop. My group will be focused on the evolution of a folding structure that forms in the fruit fly. We'll be studying its evolutionary past in a lineage of uh, flies, and we'll be studying its potential capacity for future evolution. A uh, fundamental question in evolutionary biology is to understand how structures like organs and limbs uh, actually evolved. This research will help us understand how that happened. Other faculty are looking at genetic changes in cells that can lead to cancer, diabetes, Parkinson's disease, or Alzheimer's. The broad you know, million dollar question in the, in the field of biomedicine is how does individual's genome determine the person's susceptibility to uh, different diseases? How do specific genes get turned on? Ultimately, everything hinges on that process as to what makes it manifest itself into a phenotype or a disease or what have you. CBCB is also using big data to identify genetic markers that can pinpoint new therapeutic treatments. The main driving force of my research these days is that it's translational. I'm focused on cancer and mainly on identifying new drug targets to treat cancer. The main problem we have now with the development of new anti-cancer drugs is that there is tremendous success initially, but then because cancer is heterogeneous and clonal resistant develops. The University of Maryland is located just outside of Washington, D.C., allowing CBCB faculty and students to interact with scientists at the National Institutes of Health and its National Cancer Institute. Other research involves the U.S. Food and Drug Administration and the University of Maryland School of Medicine. These partnerships are especially valuable to the center's graduate students, who constantly bring a wealth of new knowledge and new ideas to the table. I don't think any project is successful without a really keen, really intelligent graduate student driving it. For certain projects that we've been doing in collaboration with other faculty at CBCB, it has really been a set of graduate students, a team of graduate students who have been really driving those forward and making those successful. 
cutting-edge research to treat disease, computational strength to identify health risks, a deeper understanding of who we are and where we came from. At CBCB, the tools that are available allow stretching the imagination, stretching the mind. We all seek to understand how life works. How do you determine the characteristics of an organism from its genome? That question is extremely complex and it's not been possible to answer that question until now. Within the next decade or so, there will be answers to such long-standing questions and we want to be the leaders in answering these questions.